cranberries are not just for Thanksgiving. They are wonderful all through the holidays and beyond. Today I'm going to show you an easy cranberry topping that is so versatile you're going to love it. It's so easy to make. First of all, I've just rinsed off one cup of fresh cranberries and I'm going to put them into a small sauce pot. I'm going to add one third cup of brown sugar that's been packed in put it right into the pot, and then the secret ingredient, one third cup of apricot brandy. You can use plain brandy, and if you prefer not to cook with alcohol, you can use apple cider. That's a good, choice, a good option too. So put those ingredients into the pot, mix it up a little bit, and then just put it over medium heat, bring it to a nice boil, turn it down so that it's just at a gentle boil, and it only takes about five minutes for the cranberries to pop, and the mixture will thicken up a little bit. Then just let it cool at room temperature. And once it's cooled, you'll have a nice thick mixture like this. And I want it thick because I'm actually using this cranberry sauce, not as a sauce, but as a topping. This is delicious on a buttery cracker with a chunk of aged cheddar cheese and then a little dollop of this cranberry topping. But my favorite way to serve it is with some ginger shortbread cookies. You can make your own or you can buy some really good ones at the store these days. A little bit of mascarpone cheese. That's a really sweet and creamy Italian cheese. And then a dollop of the cranberry topping. So it's, it's just really great to have this topping in the refrigerator during the holiday season because there are so many different ways that you can use it. And I know you'll be creative with it too. I'm Sue Doden sharing Good Food for Good Life 365.